able to 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 cover there. But again, um, it, it's work for FIFA to do. But you know, there's some exciting exciting uh, initiatives ahead, um, and I think you know we are really conscious that that you know as FIFA we need we do need to do more to uh, to support um, uh, sporting infrastructure, uh, and we're, we're acutely aware of, of the need to do that in Africa. Excellent. And um, to, to finish, is there any special message that you would like to share? And Rick, anything from your end, from FIFA, towards improving football stadium uh, uh, management in Africa? Um, just to say that, um, you know, we, we really do value um, stadiums and people who work in stadium management. We want to promote it as a as a profession, we want to promote the infrastructure as well, because it's at the heart of football. You know, you think of all football's greatest moments and iconic moments. They've all happened in football stadiums. Um, and those football stadiums, you know, they're not just there as backdrops on these, on these big match days. You know, they need a lot of hard work to build them, to maintain them, to develop them, to ensure they're in, they're in tip-top condition. And that's, yeah, that's acting as a backdrop for for, for tournaments and other big big club matches as well, but I mean the other thing is, is you know is the responsibilities that go with it in terms of safety and making people have a good time. So it, you know it's it's a really um, uh, it's a really exciting area to to work in. So um, I would encourage everybody to um, you know to stick with it and and to say that you know FIFA is is very grateful and conscious that you know without. Without um, without stadiums and the people who run them and, and maintain them and make them happen, then you know football you know wouldn't be the same as it is is today. Football needs that 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 ecosystem that that infrastructure. So um, so you know uh, very best from FIFA and, and thanks for all your hard work. And I say we are committed to trying to to support and reach out and share back best practice uh, uh, better in the future. That's great. And, and sorry to add this one, but what should I do as a nation or as a, a member association to avoid my stadium being put on the, on the blacklist of stadiums that are not adequate for football? What, what should I do on a daily basis? Uh, maintenance, uh, inspections, um, cleaning, cleaning, you know, keep the stadium clean, you know, make sure it's, uh, it's clean. I, I can share an example from myself. I used to run um, Old Trafford, Manchester United Stadium. Um, you know, we encountered problems with uh, with vermin coming into the stadium, and it all turned out that one of the issues is we weren't cleaning the stadium properly. We were leaving it too long between the end of a match and doing the cleaning, and it, and it was attracting vermin in. And it it seems something that's very basic, very simple, but you know, it was so easy to solve, but it was causing us a as a problem. So, yeah. Keep on top of keep on top of the stadium maintenance, cleaning, uh, inspection. Make sure you know what's going on there, and always put safety at the heart of, of, of everything you do. So those would would be the key messages from myself.